Salut à toutes et à tous et bienvenue sur Geek Worlds, je suis Scar et on se retrouve aujourd'hui pour un nouvel épisode de The Wolf Among Us. Donc la semaine dernière on avait retrouvé Blanche-Neige vivante après n'avoir absolument pas tapé euh, Twiddledee, Twiddledee euh, qui était dans, le, dans la tôle en dessous de l'immeuble de notre euh, cher Big B. Mais on s'est quand même fait engueuler pour ça. Alors, ça c'est vraiment un truc que je reproche à Telltale, euh, en général, c'est leur côté, il y a un script et en fait tu peux pas vraiment t'en dégager. J'ai choisi de ne pas frapper euh, Twiddledee et de euh, respecter le code de la police, etc, plus ou moins. Et je me suis fait quand même engueuler comme si je l'avais tapé en fait. Euh... Donc ouais, en soi, c'est pas que vos choix n'ont pas d'impact sur le jeu, c'est plus de l'ordre de... Euh... À certains moments, vous aurez l'impression de, 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 que, que le jeu décide à votre place, quoi. Bon, bref, c'est pas grave. Euh... Et donc, aujourd'hui également est une journée un peu spéciale, enfin euh, une semaine un peu spéciale, parce que euh, Telltale a officiellement, et je pense définitivement fermé, euh, c'est une longue histoire dont on va discuter pendant qu'on joue et c'est vraiment... c'est dommage, c'est très très dommage euh, pour beaucoup de raisons parce que même si euh, je trouve que tel tel a quand même des gros gros défauts c'était quand même quelque chose qui euh, qui se démarquait quand même beaucoup de, euh, des jeux vidéo habituels et euh, c'est quand même très dommage que ça euh, disparaisse du coup on va reprendre là où on s'est arrêté, donc on s'est arrêté après avoir découvert le, le fait que le corps euh, que nous avions pris initialement pour être celui de Blanche-Neige était en fait le corps de Lily, la sœur de Holly, la troll euh, du bar Chick Chap. Euh, et également nous avions interrogé TJ qui nous avait euh, donc confirmé ce qu'il avait vu même s'il ne nous a pas donné énormément d'informations, parce qu'il fallait qu'on fasse... J'ai revérifié derrière, en effet. Tu peux pas lui poser toutes les questions du monde, parce qu'au bout d'un moment, il finit par craquer et, euh, et devenir un petit peu taré. Donc, euh... voilà, donc on va continuer. Et donc, oui, comme je disais, euh, Telltale va disparaître. Euh, donc, ça veut dire que les jeux suivants, c'est-à-dire qu'il y avait une suite à The Wolf Among Us, euh, ne vont probablement jamais apparaître. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Rebonjour! Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Bonjour, tête de con. Oh là, <rire> oh mon dieu. Le mec là, c'est bon, je lui ai fait une, une très très grande impression de terreur. Euh, on peut se détendre, hein, je sais pas okay. la peine. Ok, ok, I know, just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Ok. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. Donc, si tu peux fermer right. ta gueule. Give us a second, folks. Oh. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Come on, say so. Oh, everyone knows. Twiddle D was just here. Ah, ça explique. Ça explique. He said it looked like Snow White. You sure it wasn't Tweedle Dumb? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Sorry. Tweedle D said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which. I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Big B, come on. Uh, you can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! Merci. What is it with you two? 
You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I On don't want to Both of you. Listen, Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On va être gentil. I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more <laughs> fucking thing, just one more thing. À un moment donné, il va falloir apprendre à fermer ta gueule, Jack. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? Donc ça fait il y a plusieurs semaines donc. You'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been. All right, everyone. Clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Holly. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. Hmm. Je comprends qu'elles sont en colère, mais bon. C'est quand même pas sympa de dire ça. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Your friend, the girl. Copper was <laughs> from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. It's quite lovely. Gren. Yeah. Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Emmène Jack avec toi parce que c'est surtout Jack moi qui me fait chier. Gren encore, je le comprends, il est, c'est son ami quoi. Ah, J'ai vu les choix là, de, de, de dialogue de do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh god, I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. Hmm. The owner Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Georgie. Prince Lawrence a mentioned a Georgie. Holly, it's okay. Georgie. Hmm. Not the first time I've heard that name. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. You've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. That's helpful. I'll check into it. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. 
Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of, it's a formality with trolls. Mm. We burn our dead by sunrise or, I don't know, some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay, good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now, see what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Et genre, arrête de le prendre pour un putain de démon Il a été sympa avec tout le monde depuis le début du jeu Oh mais c'est pas vrai ça <rire> Ça m'énerve au bout d'un moment quoi Je fais exprès de, de faire attention à ce que je dis, de faire que mon personnage soit perçu comme, comme étant quelqu'un de bien parce qu'il est censé être le grand méchant loup, et tout le monde a l'air de me dire « Ah, cette fois-ci t'as été sympa !»« Mais j'ai été tout le temps sympa !»« Ah <rire> » Excusez-moi. Longue journée <rire> Donc ouais, Georgie, euh, ça a été mentionné par Prince Lawrence. Ah, super, c'est pas du tout le coin qui a l'air craignos. Hein. Il porte le même type de ruban. Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? <laughs> I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. Bien sûr. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. Tu crois que je suis à foutre quoi ici? Je suis un officiel de police. Hein. Je viens pas faire la rue. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working, and he's in kind of a mood right now. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've heard. C'est soit ils m'aiment bien, soit j'enfonce leur tête dans le prochain transistor qui passe. Et après ils m'aiment bien. <rire> ah. Ah. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee. Ugh. Oh, super! Qui c'est qui va devoir se taper un travail de censure? <laughs> oh, putain! What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. Bon, alors, c'est ah, pas, ah, pas que je n'aime pas voir des seins et des trucs comme ça, mais on est sur YouTube, bordel de merde. Je vais pouvoir me taper le travail de censure, ça va être énorme. Oh, faut pas de merde. Oui, c'est moi. You stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. Imagine mon coin dans ta gueule. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or uh, knowing you. It's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like for the right price. I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips then. Oh, I'm going to have Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. Je vais tellement me le faire, ce con. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Ah. 
Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamoured. Of course he was, you dap git. He was a troll. No. I mean glamoured to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. Exactement. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. Strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. Mm -hmm. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like right. who? Toi, Try looking commencer. in the mirror. Oh putain. <laughs> Je vais anyway, now to go with me. Go on, man. Il me teste. Il me teste tellement. We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? <laughs> oh no, fuck! Petit con, va. You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? C'est toi qui as tapé dans ton propre truc, Fox. du con. Oh, hello, toi. Fuck off, Hans. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee. No one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my coat. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in it? <laughs> <laughs> Show me. There is oh, je no book. Answer, déjà. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. Okay, tu veux me faire chier? Tu veux me faire chier? Eh ben c'est parti. <rire> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Oh très bien, très bien, très bien. On continue alors. Hey now. J'aimerais avoir ce, ce truc, s'il te plaît. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused again. Ok, bon, bah. Don't bah, even think about it. Trop tard, désolé. Jesus fuck. On continue. Do not touch that. On continue. You hear me? Has nothing to do with you. Oh, désolé, j'ai glissé. Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça? Hmm? Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. 
T'as pas l'air de comprendre ce qui se passe. Hein. Corruption Tentative de corruption, vraiment You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Bah voilà, tu vois que tu peux être raisonnable, petite merde. Excusez-moi, mais j'ai absolument aucune pitié pour ce genre de personne. Bloody come on, men. Fucking trust my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable down my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so you can be happy about that. Hmm. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Ants knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Ouais, t'en profites bien, quoi. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Non, mais vas-y. J'en ai absolument rien à cirer, là. Ça va partir, Hello, business office. Est-ce que je peux le taper J'ai vraiment très envie. <rire> Yeah, that's right. 58. Hmm. C'est ce qu'on a donné à. Bah écoute, on va reprendre. C'est à nous. C'est ça. Alors oui, ça c'est C'est un bug bien connu du jeu, c'est qu'à partir de maintenant, je vais avoir des billets dans la main. Là, vous les voyez là, juste là. Euh, ce sont les golos. I don't give a rat's ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, all right? OK. Le bug du jeu. Le jeu codé parfaitement bien. No, I don't want to. Ravissant comme endroit. Fine. <rire> Rien à foutre. Oui, ce genre de personnes, je n'ai absolument aucune pitié pour eux. C'est des gens qui juste profitent de la faiblesse d'autres personnes. Et ça, c'est euh, rédhibitoire chez moi. Stick lip gloss, compact, glitter. Ce qui est tombé par terre pourtant. Faith. Lock's been busted open. Quelqu'un a ouvert cette boîte. Quelqu'un a ouvert les deux boîtes et apparemment c'est. Broken open. But there isn't even a lock. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Hmm. Je vérifie, hein. Je 
excuse me. Ah, elle a enfin mis les trucs. Merci. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Is that the reason I'm here now? I keep hearing that. Somebody else said that to me on the way in. I guess we're all surprised. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Hmm. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. Huh. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Hmm. Je veux dire oui parce qu'il a quand même insisté largement sur le mot rendez-vous. Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. This isn't enough, but it's all I've got. Wait here for a second. Georgie doit vraiment se demander ce qui se passe. Le mec il vient, il détruit son, il détruit son bar, puis ensuite il va se prendre une prostituée. <rire> Not 207. Uh -huh. You'll think of something. Oui, sûrement. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Elle en sait beaucoup, hein, je sens, mais euh, comme ils disent, ils ne peuvent rien dire, c'est d'avoir une sorte de truc magique qui t'empêche de parler ou euh, une menace peut-être. Hmm. J'espère que c'est sa fille. <rire> Mais j'en doute. Ok, je pense qu'on a encore un peu de temps devant nous, donc on va peut-être faire ce, ce passage-là aussi. Ça se trouve, je vais encore finir avec un épisode de 40 minutes. Mais bon, j'assume, c'est pas grave. The refunds, ça me rappelle Stan. Dans Gravity Falls, the refunds. Ok. L'hôtel bien miteux. <rire> Dit-il en fumant sa cigarette. Ah mais j'en doute pas une seule seconde que le coca... Le coca va, être... va, va provoquer ma mort. Hein. Je tiens pas à faire ça d'ailleurs. Si les rooms sont comme dans le lobby, ils devraient couper leurs rates. Ouais c'est sûr que là... Euh... 35... Oh putain. 
Yeah. He should probably repair that. Je peux pas l'appeler grand monde ici, d'accord. Vraiment l'hôtel de la merde, incroyable. Ok. Coucou. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, ah. Uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. Oh, but I can't. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will. I will. I just need to in my own time. Oui, mais garder les secrets comme ça, ça va pas vous aider. Thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The patrol. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Mm. Les trolls font généralement ce qu'il fait. Euh... Oui, ça d'abord. Je veux quand même savoir ça d'abord. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Oh, I take out a loan from those two. It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Oh, putain. Super. Euh, oui, est-ce que tu connais... Est-ce que tu as vu Snow? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot oh. like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Okay. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here, Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. Thanks. Wait. Be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. The plot thickens. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something, which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Désolé, je peux pas Do you have faire. to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just. It's not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I see. Well, here we are. Which one was it? 207, je crois. Oui, c'est bien ce que je me disais, on entend des gens, ouais. D'accord. Euh, moi, je l'ai accepté combien 204. 204, 204, 204. Et fermez là Inspectors through here very often. I don't know. What do you think? Never 
not sure why they have desks in a place like this. Finding what you're looking for? No. I wasn't expecting much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? No. The key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Oh. So, are we done now? No. The room they met in was 207. On va les laisser se battre tranquille. Je vais d'abord écouter, voir ce qu'il y a. Il y a d'avoir personne. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? Please. Oh, fine. Merci. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Bigby? Ooh, ça How could you oh. do this to me? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love. It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me with him. No, no. Oh, ça va, je suis pas non plus dégueulasse. I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other just great. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Please listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm not. Ugh! Hey, bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her. You fucking liar! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and. Beast. Ah! Oh, 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 Bien, il veut y aller comme ça. Bon, je me suis pris celui-là. Elle le sait. ça. T'inquiète pas. Ça va. Allez, 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 allez. Oui, c'est entièrement ta faute, oui, je confirme. Oh, 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 oh. Allez, 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 allez. On se calme maintenant, s'il vous plaît. Shit, Bigby. What have you done? What? What is this? Bigby. What you did to the door? You can't just act like this whenever Stand you. Stand back. You you don't want to see this. Huh. Well, we've got the door open. Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? 
it just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. On serait sûr, on serait sûr de savoir combien de litres de sang peut sortir très très vite d'un corps. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. Oui. I'll explain later, okay? Vous laverez votre linge seul tout à l'heure, ensemble, comme un petit couple mignon. Et maintenant, vous arrêtez de me casser les couilles. Merci. What kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with a built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Okay. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. C'est définitivement là où elle est morte. We shouldn't even be in here. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Bon. Je veux finir avec ce lit parce que il y avait un truc qu'on pouvait faire avec le lit. Ah. Ah mais c'est un cauchemar. Euh, ok d'accord bon, ok. Il y a un truc encore que je peux faire avec la clé. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. Ouais, c'est possible, ouais. Y a un truc par rapport. Ouh, une cassette. Ah, attendez, y a un truc qu'on peut faire avec la cassette. Bon, je sais pas pourquoi j'arrive pas à le diriger là. Big beat this. I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here, and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. So I. That's pretty much. What is that? It's a book about Snow White, or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Hmm. What is it? He has a foot fetish. I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. That would explain the one we found on the floor. Oh no. Do you think it was poisoned? No. It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course, that makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple, which is really creepy when you think about it. You know, she almost died when. Uh... Oui. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Oh no, what? What is it? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. What? Flowers too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is just bizarre. This guy really has a thing about snow. It's like pathological. I'm getting that feeling. Yes. Oh my god. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but 
just how does a person... Oh, well. Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. Who she must this have been so scared. Brought wine. Classy. Okay. Maybe she didn't. Ah. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. No, there's more? What? What now? He likes it rough. Oh yeah, he likes it rough. Um, we'll do a cross dress. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. C'est plus ça, oui. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It's another match to what's in the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in the snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Oh, but merci. Thanks. So he <laughs> planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Uh, yeah. If you need boulot, trop I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to. Ce serait ce qui serait passé véritablement si uh, la belle mère de Blanche Neige <laughs> Avait et c'est celle qui l'avait réveillé à la fin. Ah. Oula, attends, la porte elle a disparu. J'ai cru que la porte a disparu. Je crois. Euh, ouais. Ce, ce jeu est truffé de bugs un petit peu. Stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. You'll keep trying to get closer and closer. Ah, he's standing for snow. Okay, the, the, miroir, the next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> grain. Ok, super Et eh bah ben, écoutez, c'est la fin de ce chapitre en plus, parfait. Je crois. He could be after you now. Good, I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Oui, bah moi aussi, t'inquiète pas. <rire> Keep it in. Ok. Alors, uh, how did you... on, va, on va regarder ça puis ensuite on va discuter d'un petit peu de ce qu'on a vu. How did you respond to the screen about some of the... Uh, uh, bah, bien sûr que c'est mieux de le persuader de parler plutôt que de le frapper comme des cons. Bah, quasiment tout le monde allait uh, a laisser Snow prendre sa propre décision. Quasiment tout le monde n'a pas frappé euh, Georgie et quasiment tout le monde a décidé de d'épargner la bête folle. Ça a plus ou moins ce que j'ai voulu choisir. Donc. Ok, donc Crane est complètement impliqué dans tout ça. Et il a cette obsession envers Snow White. Ce qui est intéressant étant donné qu'il la trouve comme une merde pour, pour, en vrai. 
qui s'est caché son obsession maladive avec Snow White. Bon alors moi du coup je suis ravi, hein, je vais avoir plein de boulot à faire, à, à censurer plein de trucs. Euh... <rire> C'est génial. Mais donc ouais, euh, cette enquête prend le tournure de crimes sexuels. Ce qui dans un sens est logique parce qu'on était tout à fait mêlés dans les histoires de prostitution et tout ça. Ok, ok. Bon, bah on commence à avoir euh, plus ou moins euh, les informations qu'il nous faut. Donc Crane serait le tueur. Sauf que ça fait pas de sens parce que... Alors que Crane ait tué Lily, ça a l'air plus ou moins clair. Mais que Crane ait ensuite amené la tête de Lily pour qu'ensuite on découvre que c'est lui, ne fait aucun sens. Il y a quelqu'un d'autre qui a amené la tête. Ça peut pas être Crane. Hmm. Bah écoutez, on, on, on va découvrir un petit peu qu'est-ce que c'est... Euh, euh, qu'est-ce qu qui se cache derrière toute cette histoire par la suite dans le début du chapitre 3, je crois, parce qu'on vient de finir le chapitre 2. C'était assez court. Euh, du coup, je vous dis à très très vite, à très très bientôt. N'oubliez pas de commenter, de partager et de liker la vidéo. N'oubliez pas d'aller sur notre Facebook, notre Twitter et notre Discord pour vous abonner à euh, tout, notre, tout notre contenu. N'oubliez pas de vous abonner également à la chaîne et à la soutenir, ça nous fait toujours plaisir. Et je vous dis donc à très très vite, à très très bientôt. Et on se voit très prochainement pour un nouvel épisode de The Wolf Among Us. Ciao